Hi, this is Eddie of Eddie's Reef Aquarium. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to simply upgrade your innovative Marine Nubo 40 stock pump with a CJ 2.0 pump. Very simple. Now, if you notice, the outlet of the stock pump, of course, is much, much uh, smaller. It's a half inch. And then the 2.0 CG pump being more powerful, of course, the outlet is bigger. So this is a half inch and this is three quarters. So the question is, how would I go about doing that? Because as you notice, this is the uh, plumbing that uh, is uh, involved with the uh, Innovative Marine 40. And as you notice, the diameter of the plumbing of the tubing is just half inch. But here, see, it, it wouldn't uh, fit. It, it's too small. So here's what uh, you do. All you have to do is get a simple fitting, which is going from a half inch to a three quarter inch. And I'll show you how it's done. Okay, first what you would do is you would take out the uh, fitting of your stock pump, make sure it's got the O-ring and you would screw it on the fitting all the way in. Okay, for purpose of uh, of this video, I'm not uh, screwing the uh, thing actually all the way in. Then you would go ahead and put the O-ring that's uh, supplied with your uh, CJ 2.0. There you go. And then of course, you would take this fitting out and you would go ahead and uh, uh, apply the fitting to the CJ. Okay, there's your conversion. Now, of course, this would actually fit on your new upgraded pump. Now, one final trick that I'm gonna show you. You might ask yourself, why do I have a glass of water here? Trick of the trade. Okay, these type of plumbing systems where they, uh, where they use tubing, if you want to make it more pliable, so the, uh, you know, when you, when you introduce it to the fitting that it goes all the way down, I mean, if I was to push it, it probably would go, but to make it more easier, all you have to do is get a container, a, a glass of water or something and heat it, heat the water as much as you can. And all you do is you get the end of the uh, tubing, the end that, that you're going to uh, put it in the fitting to make it pliable. You just put it here in, inside the hot water and wait like 15 or 30 seconds. And once um, the uh, tube be, uh, becomes uh, heated, it will be more pliable. So then you go ahead and it will just, you know, slide in. And then, of course, when it cools down, it will take the configuration of the fitting and you, and you don't have to uh, be concerned if it's not uh, that tight or so forth. So that's simply the video that I want to bring up today when it comes, like I said before, to modifying your stock pump to a CJ 2.0. Oh, and by the way, uh, all the people that have written to me when it comes to this pump, the CJ 2.0, if it fit or not, it uh, does. I've tried it. Uh, you, you have to bring in the pump sideways. And once it lands, on the bottom of the tank, you can actually side it. So there's no, uh, you know, you can slide the pump back and forth or, or uh, to the sides. It, it fits perfectly. There's uh, extra space. But as I said before, you must uh, bring down the pump uh, uh, with no uh, fitting. Just go down with the pump and then you can go ahead and uh, slide the uh, tubing in. So that's basically in a nutshell what I was uh, planning on bringing up today in this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, hit the like button or make a comment or if not, subscribe to my channel. And if you subscribe and you want to get uh, alerts on the next video that I go ahead and produce, right next to the subscription button, you're uh, going to notice there, there's a little bell. If you activate that every time I uh, do a video, you get the, uh, the notification. And like I say at the end of all of my videos, thank you very much and happy reefing. Bye-bye.